Good day, students. In the last video, we actually discovered what the Pythagorean theorem actually was. And as a quick reminder, what it tells us is that for any right angle triangle, the area of the square drawn on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares drawn on the other two sides. Now we did that by using two specific triangles. What I'm going to show you in this video is that it applies to any right angle triangle. So for example, here's a right angle triangle in the middle of this page. There's the square drawn on the hypotenuse. There's the squares drawn on the two legs. So what I'm going to do now is just uncover the pieces that I've divided that square into. So here we have these four pieces. Um, equal the area of that square, there's that square, there's that square. Pythagorean theorem says the area of that square plus the area of that square equals the area of the square on the hypotenuse. So I can actually demonstrate that just by moving these four pieces from the large square drawn on the legs, and I can just move them into the square drawn on the hypotenuse like so, and what I'm left with, I still have a square in the middle, and Pythagoras says the square on the other leg will fit perfectly into that. So there we have a demonstration. The area of the square on the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares drawn on the other two sides. Now this is going to be an actual proof. So what I'm about to do here, I could do for any sized right angle triangle. So here I have a triangle here with sides A, B, and C, where C is the hypotenuse. And here I have a large blue square. So what I'm going to do is just take four copies of this triangle and drag them into the four corners of the square like so. Okay, now what's left of the blue square? I can see here I have a square that's C on each side. So the area of the blue that I can see at the moment is C squared. Now all I'm going to do is rearrange those pieces. So I'm going to just move that to there, that to there, and that to there. What's the area of the blue part that we can see now? Well, we have a square up here that's A squared. We have a square down here that's B squared, B times B. And therefore, it's just going to be A squared plus B squared. So just by moving the pieces around, I haven't actually changed how much of the blue we can see. But in one form, it's C squared. But when I rearrange the pieces, I get a squared plus b squared. And that's a proof that I'll get my pen tool. That's a proof that c squared, the area of this blue square, is the same as the area of the two small squares when I rearrange the pieces. And again, that can be proven, that can be done for any right angle triangle and not just this particular one. Okay, in the next video, we can now use our Pythagorean theorem to find the lengths of unknown sides of a right angle triangle.